Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we will learn how to change the font shape in Adobe After Effects. So, let's begin. So, before we start, I want to give a huge shout out to Video Shop for its amazing ideas. So, here we are inside of Adobe After Effects, and now let's begin. I'm going to select the Gotham Teen font and I'm gonna write the word believe. and I'm going to align it and then I'm going to duplicate the text and I'm going to change its font family to Gotham Black. Now I want to turn the light font into the bold font. Well, one thing is really important in this type of animation is that try to pick up a font which are in the same family font. For example, don't jump from a Gotham font to an Helvetica one and I will tell you why in a few minutes. Well, so how are we going to animate it? Well, the process is fairly simple. We are going to use the path animation to change the letters. However, there is an easy and a hard way. Well, on a hard way that mostly new designers do, they will create shapes from the text. And let me change the second text color so we can see them better. And let's reduce this opacity a bit. And now we need to select each word and we need to go towards the path of each word and then we need to adjust this manually. Well, this method is a bit hard and the reason for that is if you are not good with the path animation or with pen tool, you are mostly going to ruin the edges of your letter. And by far the most important reason for me personally is that you will need to put hours of words in order to finish these kind of works. But there is an easy way where you can do this effect in less than four minutes. But there isn't a huge but in the middle of it. It's not going to work 10 out of 10 unless you pick the fonts on the same family. So let me show you what I mean. So let's create shapes from the second text and then we will go towards the path in search bar and then we can set a keyframe on the path. But if you have a crazy shapes plugin, you can just click on here and it will automatically set keyframe for the path. It just saves you a lot of time. Now let's set keyframes for the path of the first text. And now I will copy the keyframes from the second text and I will paste them into the first path. Now we have that font change that we wanted. So since these two family fonts share an equal number of points, we could do this technique. Otherwise, if you try to morph a shape, for example, which has 10 points to a shape that has already 20 points, it will not work correctly. Now it's time to add easings to the layers. And I'm going to select everything and then I'm gonna press F9 to apply easings. And then in graph editor, I'm just gonna adjust the graphs just like this now it is time to offset the keyframes for more engaging motion so we'll use motion tools which saves me time again I can now extract the shapes inside of the layer by one click otherwise I needed to copy each layer and then removing the subgroups inside of it to make that worth for myself and lastly, I'm going to select the keyframes and then I'm going to adjust them by three frames in sequencer in motion tools again. As you see now with this method, we have saved ourselves hours of words. Now let's add a background and now let's select each letter and change its color. Lastly, let's add an adjustment layer and let's add the black and white effect. 
Lastly, I will set a keyframe for opacity and I will adjust its duration. All done. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe as it helps me out a lot to grow my channel. Thanks. Goodbye.